Hi, I'm Ed Kelly, editor of The Oklahoman. That former mayor, Kirk Humphreys, is the new chairman of the Oklahoma City School Board. It means the school district can begin to restore public confidence that was lost last winter when the district's top two leaders both left. Humphreys wasn't the only candidate for the job, but in my mind, there couldn't have been a better one, and here's why. First, Humphreys has long been a champion of the school system. As mayor, he essentially staked his career in public service on passage of Maps for Kids, the historic funding mechanism that will pump some $700 million into the district's infrastructure. He knows anybody who's anybody in Oklahoma City, and that'll be of immense importance in his new role. Secondly, Humphreys has run a school board before in the Putnam City Schools. Granted, the PC School District is half the size of Oklahoma City's. But Humphrey's tenure on the board in the 1990s came at a time when the district was turning from a comfortable suburban district into a landlocked urban district with the attendant challenges that come with it. He understands school districts and the politics that surround them. What he'll face heading the city school district will come as no surprise. Humphreys adds gravitas to a school board and district that badly needs it. The public face-off be between Humphreys' predecessor, Cliff Hudson, and former Superintendent John Porter resulted in both men leaving their positions. The result was a leadership gap that in turn has spawned real concern around town that the school district is floundering, that it will never reach its potential from the master kids' renovations. Humphreys will help with such concerns. His appointment as board chairman officially must wait a few months because of a wrinkle in state law, but it's a minor hurdle. The most important thing at this point is that Humphreys will be in on hiring the next school superintendent to replace Porter. I sense that he will want to seriously consider an Oklahoman for the position, which is good strategy. And I hope that he will want to make this hire before the start of school in August, rather than drag it out another school year. Oklahoma City now has a strong chairman for its school board. It needs an equally strong superintendent, and soon.